In this ayat 171 of section 23 of Surah An-Nisa, the fourth surah, Allah says, O people of the book, commit no excesses in your religion, nor say of Allah aught but truth. Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, was no more than an apostle of Allah. And his word, which Allah bestowed on Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. So believe in Allah and his apostles. Say not Trinity, desist. It will be better for you. For Allah is one Allah. Glory be to him, for exalted is he above having a son. To him belong all things in the heavens and on earth. And Allah is enough as a disposer of affairs. The Quranic revelation appeared six centuries after Jesus. And unlike Judaism and Christianity, which do not admit any revelation subsequent to their own, directs all Muslims to believe in the scriptures that preceded it. In the same surah, section 20, ayat 136. It stresses the important positions of Allah's emissaries, such as Noah, Abraham, Moses, the prophets, and Jesus. In the same surah in section 23 of ayat 163, then in this ayat, it mentions the attributes of Jesus Christ, a son of a woman, Mary, and therefore a man, giving the same description of parthenogenesis to his biological birth without a biological father as the Gospels, an apostle and a spirit from God, but not Nausbillah, God. For says Quran, God is independent of all needs and has no need of a son to manage his affairs. The word which, is, which occurs in this surah, which is bestowed on Mary, means that he was created from God's word, be kun, 
and not as in the Gospel of John or whoever wrote it, surrounded by Alexandrian and Gnostic mysticisms. The word logos in Greek, which is surrounded by this mysticism. The Quran follows on from the two revelations that preceded it, but is free from contradictions and various human manipulations and provides a unique quality when examined objectively and in the light of science. That is, it is in complete agreement with modern scientific data. Madam President, Mr. Ahmad Dida, and ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an honor for me to welcome Mr. Ahmad Dida this evening on behalf of the Daughters of Islam. The question arises, who are the Daughters of Islam? Very briefly, we have two basic aims. Firstly, to forge unity among Muslims, hence our motto, Ittihad Bainul Muslimat. And secondly, our real mission is to acquire knowledge and to help in spreading it in every way possible. It is in connection th with this that we have been holding group discussions and organizing lectures by various scholars. So ladies and gentlemen, in keeping with our mission of acquiring knowledge, we have with us today Mr. Emma Didat, the renowned scholar of comparative religion from South Africa. His debates with Christian scholars are now famous and are viewed all over the world. He uh, operates from Durban, where we, he has set up the Islamic Propagation Center, and uh, he has been awarded with the King Faisal Award in recognition of his services to Islam. So uh, now I request Mr. Brother Ahmed Dida to please address the public. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أهل الكتاب تعالوا إلى كلمة سواء بيننا وبينكم أن لا نعبد إلا الله ولا نشرك به شيئا ولا يتخذ بعضنا بعضا أربابا من دون الله فإن تولوا فكلوا شدوا بأن مسلمون Sadaq Allah, Sadaq Allah Marazim. My dear daughters and my brothers and sons on the top, it gives me great pleasure to be here with you all this afternoon to come and share with you my thoughts on some aspects of Islam. And I was in a quandary, I was in a haze. I didn't know I was thinking, what shall I say, what shall I say, what am I going to speak? And uh, as if God sent, the sister who preceded me here, she read the verse that I read to you just now from the Holy Quran. And that gave me an idea that, look, this is the voice of God. As if Allah Bari Tala is speaking through her, I said, look, speak about this. And I was greatly relieved. You see, it has happened that when the Qari, you know, generally when our functions start, we get a Qari, a good reciter, to start the rest our, our meetings. And uh, then they call the speaker. It was for Juma prayer in my own city in Durban. The Qari was called, pre khutbah talk. The Qari was called, he recited. And then they called me and said, now Mr. Didat will speak. So out of what the Qari was reading from the Quran, I repeated a verse. 